So welcome to my first director's cut video. I'm going to try and do director's cut videos for a lot more of my projects. So typically when I do a build, there'll be the build video and then I'll have a director's cut video in the links that I'm just going to talk about the build. No fancy editing, no crazy stuff. Just going to show you what's going on. So I've got three chairs sitting here. And this one, if you just watched the video, the $11, 11 minute Adirondack chair, this is the actual chair I built. This is the chair that the plans that I made for uh, cover. And then this is the chair that I built during my Twitch hangout last week. So let's talk about a couple of the differences. Now on this chair right here, I've got the legs slanted at an angle towards the front. I kind of liked it when I did it, but now that I've done the, the legs straight up and down over like on this chair, I'm kind of digging that too. So it's no big deal. If you buy the plans and you want to have the legs straight, instead of cutting it at the angle, just cut it at 25 inches tall, and then you just move your whole, your whole positions in the uh, arm. Everything else stays the same. Now what I did do different between this chair and that chair was I didn't put any stretchers in. Now the plans call for stretchers. What I mean by stretchers are these pieces right here. This 2x4 that goes across the top and the bottom. And then there's also two underneath. Now I like having that extra support there because I'm a big guy. And if I was building this for a person of my stature, I'd want the extra support. Now on the 11 minute, $11 Adirondack chair, this one here, there are no stretchers. You can see I, underneath the bottom, I didn't put any stretchers at all. And to install these, uh, these pieces here for the back, I actually just tacked them in with a brad nailer to hold them in place and then came in from the bottom and toenailed some screws in to hold those more permanently. Another variation on this chair right here, I have a, I have a cutoff in the back that matches the angle and in the uh, quick build I didn't actually cut that angle I just used a flat a straight cut on a 2x4 which made this build go really quick so I'm actually kind of digging this the straight up and down slat I don't know I, I don't know what whatever you guys like the plans have uh, the measurements for this in there for the slanted leg but if you don't like it again it's just a 25 inch uh, flat piece cut car uh, rather a flat piece a 2x4 uh, cut with just a, um, a straight cut top and bottom and it's 25 inches tall. And this right here with the angle, it's a 24.5 degree angle on this and that makes this 27 and a half inches long, I think, if, if I remember right. So those are the, really the main differences. The only other main difference is right here on the front of the seat on the plants that I have it, so it's angled a little bit, kind of matches the angle of the, um, there's kind of a flow between that angle, this angle and the back of the chair. I don't really know how important that is. If I was going to be building these chairs to sell for money, I would definitely build this chair right here, the $11, 11 minute chair. I'd obviously sand it and put screws in it rather than just brad nails. Or if I had a large nailer, I could run some galvanized ring shanks through. I might do that because for 11 bucks in material, 12 bucks in material, um, you can blaze these things out. You can actually sell these things for 40 to $45. And if you could sell a chair for 45 bucks, you're going to sell a lot more chairs than you can if you have to sell it for 70 to 80 to 90 to 100 dollars. So that's it. The plans are made for this chair right here. I also have a bonus set in the back side of the plan set. If you're interested in buying them, let me show you what it is here. Let me move the camera. So using the same material, a 2x4, now I've got a 2x6 on this one, again because I'm trying to support some extra weight. But I have, the, the plan set has a 1 inch by 1 inch diagram showing you the pattern for a, um, a rounded face, a butt cup, and then again for a rounded back for a little bit more comfortable of a seat. Now, I know a lot of guys prefer these over the butt cups and the rounded backs, but if you get your angles right, they really don't increase the comfort that much, at least in my opinion. And that might be just because I'm pretty wide, I don't know. But there's, so in the back of the plan set, the angles, the, there's a, a, like I said, a grid diagram, one inch by one inch grid diagram that shows you the, the butt cup. The, and, and also for the back, it's got the back has a, a cut in it as well, if you wanted to put that into your chair. Um, again, that one calls for two by fours, not two by sixes. Uh, but it's there in the back if you want. 
And then uh, I also have some plans coming out for an end or a coffee t or coffee table, an end table that'll ma that'll kind of match this really well. But I'm going to put those out for free. And again, it's not something I'm going to show on YouTube. I'm just going to have that build over on Twitch, and then uh, eventually, you know, they'll be up on my website. Or I don't know how I'm going to play that out yet. But they'll be available. They'll be free. And I may also design up a coffee table as well to match this. So that's really it. That's what I wanted to kind of go over and show you guys the differences between, you know, the individual chairs that I made over the weekend. And uh, got to be honest with you, my favorite chair so far is the 11 minute, $11 build. It's, um, it's comfortable, it's quick and easy to build. You can build a bunch of them. And if you wanted to sell these for profit, of course, all these are designed to be done with limited tools. You could do this with a skill saw. If you had a jigsaw, you could do the butt cups. But the straight ones, I mean, all you really need is a jigsaw and a drill or, or an air nailer or whatever you're gonna, you know, operation you wanna use. And then of course, it never hurts to give it a quick sanding. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll have more director's cuts and, and future build projects just to kind of go over some of the details that got left out in the actual video on, on the uh, premiere channel, I guess we call it that. Uh, just, just sometimes it's hard to get all those details into, into a, you know, a three to five minute long video. So I'm, I'm thinking that these director's cut videos will be a great opportunity for me to go over some of the other information that might have been lost. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel right here because I'll have a lot more updates some shop updates and director's cut videos right here on this channel. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.